Morning guys, how are we? All good? <laughs> Probably wondering what's wrong with my friggin' eye. Um, so, went out for dinner with some friends last night and went back to theirs. They've got a cat. I didn't think I wasn't allergic to cat. But basically I was stroking the cat as you do. And then I rubbed my eye and for some reason I got a massive allergic reaction. And I think I've got false eyelashes on at the moment and I think a couple of the eyelashes stuck together. Mm -hmm. um, so as you can see it's like it's oh. half, half closed yeah so oh, I'm fine I, I feel okay I'm just yeah <laughs> she looks a bit weird tonight I've just got a, ha yeah, a little gunky eye um, so we're just reporting from our room in the big blue so Rob did a wee room tour yesterday so that's yeah completely different from what we're going to see today so that's on before this one yeah so, and then of course we've got our Pledge of Beach day today before we head back up the road this evening. Um, so, I'm just going to do a quick vlog um, to let you know what happened with our holiday to Orlando next November. Um, so, originally we were booked into the Coronado Springs Resort. So, like, I had, I don't book my holidays lightly. I, I do like to do my research. And we decided last time that we usually stop at French Quarter. You can be on the camera, it's fine. We usually stop at French Quarter, um, but we felt like we wanted a change, didn't we? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we were like, oh, we'll research and see what moderate, because we can only really afford a moderate. We'll see what moderate, cause, and they also offer, offer the free dining plan, the quick, quick service. service dining plan. And we found that the full dining plan was too much planning, too much, uh, yeah, too much organisation. We just wanted a more kind of chill out, go with the flow kind of holiday. Definitely. So we looked at Caribbean Beach, Port Early and Riverside never really appealed for us so that was never an option. No. And we looked at Coronado Springs and we thought for us personally we liked the look of Coronado Springs. Yeah, I, I really fancied it. Um, so, so we watched vlogs. And we watched vlogs, we booked it, we booked it in April. The date came out with Disney Dining because we had the money so we thought oh. and we knew we wanted to go kind of end of November so we booked it for the last day that Disney Dining was available which was the 30th of November. Um, booked it all, obviously booked flights, um, and then a week passed on Thursday, I got a phone call, um, so I wear an Apple Watch and I was at my desk at work and I noticed a number coming up that I didn't recognise, it was an 034 number, and I was like, well that's strange, but obviously I can't answer because I'm at my desk, um, but they left a voicemail, so on my break I went and listened to it and it was Virgin Holidays basically saying there was an update to my holiday. I could either give them a call back or they'd send me an email. So I logged into my emails um, and basically they were, there was an email there saying they'd oversold Coronado Springs for our dates next November. Um, now I'm a member of the Dib Forum and I know that Virgin have basically oversold their quota of holidays for next year. I don't know if it's their fault or if it's Disney's fault. Um, basically Star Wars I think is going to be opening around that time. I think Disney has blocked off a lot of rooms. I think there's also maybe some sort of big conference. One of the giant like companies in the US, either Apple or Samsung or something, apparently having a massive conference at the end of October next year, start of November, and then into the rest of November obviously. So to say I was annoyed <laughs> was an understatement. It wasn't good being the husband. <laughs> I'm really like quite anal about my Disney holidays and um, so yeah that was and they offered us their alternative was Caribbean Beach in a preferred room and um, now if anyone knows Disney Caribbean Beach is going through a lot of work at the moment they don't even have a food court or like a check-in or anything like that and um, what they've got is they've got a tent with a buffet restaurant and um, they can't tell you what there's going to be when it opens they can't tell you when it's going to open. Also, they tried to make it out that the gondola thing was a good thing, that they were going to be able to use the gondola. And then, about me, I don't like enclosed spaces, so I wouldn't be using the gondola anyway. So I really didn't feel it was a fair upgrade. They tried to phone, well, you phoned them, I phoned them, and they were like adamant that they weren't going to change their minds and they weren't going to offer us anything else. So we kind of like started to accept Caribbean Beach and watching videos on it and like it was nice but like if you know when you got your heart set on something and they change something and you're just not into it and so I figured that I'm spending so much money on this holiday I don't want to stay somewhere that's substandard that I don't want to stay in so 
um, after a week of phone calls and email to the CEO of Virgin Holidays, um, they basically turned around and you spoke to them, didn't you? I did, yeah. So yeah. I spoke to a lovely lady called Emma. Emma, you spoke to quite a lot. I spoke to quite a few people, but she was the one. I was on the phone for like an hour. Yeah, that's the problem with Virgin Holidays, is that once you phone them, you're on hold for about. 20 minutes yeah trying minutes. to get through and then you get put in a hole to see what you could do but she offered us a great package hey so we are not stopping at caribbean beach we're not we are stopping now at animal, animal kingdom, kingdom lodge, lodge with full disney diner yay <laughs> which, yay which we don't want to do because it's so much planning but that's what she's for yeah so it you know it's an amazing it was an amazing upgrade and we're so thankful for a virgin holiday so anything bad i said about them in the past take all back now they've really redeemed themselves so but i think that my little email to the ceo of virgin holidays really helped um yeah so we're going next november to the animal kingdom lodge um it's a standard room which is fine we're more than happy with yeah um, we're just a room in the day we've stayed at animal kingdom lodge once before when we first started dating when we worked out there and um, we just had one one, one night there and we absolutely loved it didn't we? We, did. we never ever thought that we'd be able to go back for a full fortnight. But well, we always go for breakfast or bye We always night. go for We always breakfast. go there for a day. Yeah we always go there for it. Even last time. We went we, for breakfast. No we just went randomly to the Mara counter service yes, for dinner. Did. Yeah we did. Because <laughs> we were missing the resort. Because it's such a nice resort. It is such a nice resort and it'll have all the Christmas decorations up. And the trees and the gingerbread houses yeah, and all sorts. So so we're, yeah we're really we just wanted to do a little video to let you know what you what was happening with that because I'd, we'd mentioned that a couple of vlogs ago about like oh we were in in cahoots with virgin holidays and they were driving us mad and yeah so but they came through they came through and um, so yeah that's so it's all where good. we're staying next year so i don't think it's actually sunk in yet you know, i watched a youtube video the other day of a tour of animal kingdom lodge and i started to cry no oh, yay Get the unmade bed. It's gonna be four hundred and forty-five or forty-five so. days of this. But I'll be yeah as well. But when I get to November this year, yeah, that's when it will be a like time. it's a year's time. That's when it will start to realise that we actually are going to AKL. Yay! So and we've yeah. got to plan all the restaurants that we're going. To be fair, though, we've been. We've kind of picked a couple of restaurants yeah, that we both we've booked a couple out. of two tops yeah. to get them down because some nights we won't be at Disney, yeah. we're going to go to Universal one night. Yeah. Again, we're going to stop at World Pacific. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's what that's the big news. Yee. So, all very exciting. Yeah, so we're just sitting in our room at the moment at Pledge Beach. Big Blue. Just the park doesn't open till 11 because it's on Monday, so check it, it's not till 11 either, so it's only half nine. So we'll just come back up for breakfast and yeah, we just, just thought we'd, for a bit. we'd just do the the update while we were sat here. We've got our, We've got our Disney t-shirts on. Yeah, we were there. I was there on the, I can't even see the date now, October, October 1st, 2017. And I was there too, because we were there. We were We weren't just buying t-shirts. No, we were there. You could have buy one that day, so yeah, we were definitely yeah. there. So you guys, that's it. Yeah. So for now, it's bye from Rob. Bye from Ashley. See you next time. Bye bye. bye.